Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farm Rebel Extreme here. Here we are, we're back on Compton Farm, this is by Oxygen David. And yeah, this is going to be something new, something I've been hinting at for a while. But yeah, so, as you can tell by the title and the final video, we're going to be tempting to have 10,000 cows on this map and become the Royal British Dairy King, so... Yeah, that means a lot of things. For one, if we go into build mode, we're going to be using the mono slope. And as always, all the mods will be down in the description below. But, <clears throat> so yeah, we're going to be having at least have 10 of these mono slopes. However, as you can see, there are not many places we can place these down. So, we need to be a bit creative with this. And yeah, so yeah, 10 million may seem like to start off with is a lot. But trust me, by the time we get to land purchases, because yeah, I think we do have some contracts and that we can do. Have a look. So yeah, well, a couple of contracts we could do at the moment. Throw those in and two harvester contracts. Why not we're going to purchase those set fields, then seeds and canola. So 16 is the seed. I may actually purchase that field because, yeah, the end of the game at the end of the day is to have 10,000 cattle. So yeah, let's head over to where we're going to be buying the land and at least most of these mono slopes going to be put down. So right, here we are, we're by the BGA net and we're going to be purchasing this 11.3 acre land via the Lizard Estate agents and that, so... So yeah, that's going to be our first land of purchase, and that's going to be 833 grand. Also, what crops do we have? So, because we need to get food on the way, because we're going to be starting off with, let's say about a thousand cows now. We don't start off with any other fields. I did purchase the periphery net coming on here and that. That's because of some modifications I made to the shop net, including having a the ship that's run by the little dealer and that, and some custom sell points and that. We're going to have a look at those as we head to the store because we need a, a some foreign transport, maybe, or most likely, a good old Land Rover and that. But yes, I'm thinking for fields and that. We're going to need straw for TMR and bedding for animals or for our cows. I may do sheep and chickens down the road, but at the moment, the priority is going to be cow so i'm gonna aim to start off with about a thousand cows yeah between the mon slopes and also the build with field lot by schultz modding but yeah so first of all we do need a money crop coming coming in so i'm thinking purchase a couple of fields cotton's a good field to have i'm not sure if that's ready to harvest we are running this season, so that's going to be a while before they're ready in that. So yeah, what fields are these? So we've got oats, barley, barley and canola. So I think to be honest, we're going to be purchasing that field. Also, I want to... Do I purchase the Lindsay fields? I think so, because I want to purchase that. And maybe one or two more fields, so... Ideally, I want large fields because, yeah, all the animals we could be having, so... Oh, yes, that's a million. 1.3 million, I think we'll go with that because then we can get some grass from that, grass hay, or even silage that because we're going to be having a fair bit of work done on here, so... First of all, let's get rid of you, so 250 quid we need to spend. Actually, no. And already I've <laughs> messed this up. Let's put that back to pounds. But yeah, so we're left with four mil. We still need equipment and the mon soaps and everything else. So I've got a bunch of mods enabled. So I think what I'm just going to do is a little short time lapse here of getting the farm built. So I'm thinking put some new gravel down. So how does that look? Nice, so yeah, obviously this map is by Auction David, so, because yeah, when I was like picking the map, now there was a few British maps I want to, 
And to be honest, what inspired me to do this was by Mighty Mike. I was, he's doing 10,000 cows and that at the moment. Yes, he's on PC and that. And to make some minor adjustments. But this series is going to be semi realistic -y. <laughs> It's going to be realistic ish, I think. It will be realistic ish and that. Obviously, I'm on console. I'm on PlayStation 4 and that at the moment. Maybe I'll go into a PlayStation 5 soon, but until then, yeah, I need to focus on this. So, this is going to be our area for our productions and other things. Things like buy points and that. Buy points for our fertilizers and all that. So, I think, yeah, that's going to be a good start. And yeah, one thing I want to do is utilize this as a field as well. So, but yeah, let's get building. Let's build a farm. And then, we'll go from there. I never really know what's going on Look at me sometimes like all you want to do is run set up the farm and yeah it ain't gonna be the most perfect or most beautiful but so yeah that 10 mil we're down to just 1.6 mil and that should be enough for the equipment and yeah we're gonna have some choices in terms of equipment and that and the first one is obviously it's gonna be of course our little dandy here and that but yeah we've got the farm all set up ready to go so Let's just head over there a sec, and yeah, I'll give you a little tour. Because yeah, made some little changes since the time lapse. And yeah, it all makes sense. Got things up and running. Things to help to self sustain us in terms with production of things like fertilizer and seeds as well. But yeah, that's purely for productions. What I've got down ain't gonna be for money and that. Or at least I see that, but to be honest, who knows? At the end of the day, we'll oh, yeah, this is something I've not done before, so 
yeah, it's like, this is a really daunting task, and to be honest, there is a good chance we can fail this, like, terms with animals and that, so, yeah, we've got 500 beef cattle, we got 250 adult cows, we need those for the milk, and also we've got, oof, I actually bought too much cows, but, oh well, <laughs> looks like we got 450 calves of the Holstein, so, yeah, what I've gotten done is, obviously, the cow pens and that, buy shorts modding and that, they can hold a thousand cows easy and that, but, yeah, I want to try to simulate having them in the field during summer and that, like, during, like, spring, summer, as we're in now. I may move them around a bit. Our first gate here. And it's actually nine, so it's, it's feels like one of our fields, I forgot already what we've gone and purchased. Nope. How much is that field, though? Ooh, 600 grand. That means we're left with a mill for equipment. Nope, I ain't gonna do it because... Yeah, to be honest, we've got decent land. Like, we've got one, two, three, four, five fields. And the land we've got, that can be made into field number six. So yeah, I think at the end of the day, it's all gonna work out that. But yeah, let's head to the farm and see what we've got all set up here. So right, here we go, and again, this is just a rough starting off with, I may tweak some bits here and there as we go around, but yeah, so, start from there, we got our jet washer area, we've got two of those, then moving over here, we've got our workshop, I may go with a mobile workshop and that, so things that don't fit in, yeah, actually, one thing I've also got to do is go to our settings, and yeah, I want to turn off or turn on automatic yeah engine start and that. So but yeah, also we got some huge rows of sheds and that. But yeah, so we don't really have much shed storage apart from that massive walkthrough. Also, we do have the how was it the Meridian storage yards. I've got some lime herbicide seeds and all that. Yeah, that's just get started off with. Then moving on, we've got our production. And yeah, this is gonna be what's gonna help us with everything. Things like drying of the grass and that. Cause yeah, we can actually make anything from here. Even water that when we get snow in that. But yeah, we can get fertilizer in that. Obviously we do need to be in that for some of these. But yeah, we can get that for the BJC, so it's required herbicides. And yeah, so things like hay, I'm going to be looking at. So, grass of hay at 4,800 cycles per month. And yeah, that is going to be a lot. And we'll get methane from this, so I'm going to put our grass and hay in. Actually, it won't be so much the hay we'll be using. I think hay. For now, we'll have to be the source of our animal feed because, yeah, 8% effectiveness, at least for the first year and that. But yeah, rather than drying around, I'm just going to build most, so yeah, got that. Also, we've got another means of storage of items that I've got the commodity storage. I think that's by Mr. B. Got the grain size by Mr. B. And we've got two 900, 980 bell sheds and that bell and pad storage sheds because yep yeah, I'm gonna be producing bells now everything we're gonna be producing for the cows like the feed and all that just bedding yeah my, my aim's gonna be with straw now so yeah so first of all yeah the train work I didn't realize completely forgot about the train on this map like it's fine up to here then once you start you know placing stuff down especially such monoslopes does shift the train a bit, so I think when we place more down down the road, I will be a bit more careful now. Like thinking down the road, we'll put some more on here because over here it's more flat than that. But for now, technically we've got space for four thousand cows. 
And uh, one thing I want to do is within a couple of years, because yeah, we're going to be running 3D months, I forgot to mention that. Read is 6 now, so we've got Caesars and that. We don't have precision farming and that. But yeah, so we've got cows in the field and that. They're grazing. And actually, one thing I can do, yeah, is if we head on over, so. Not you, that one there. Get rid of these grids and that. And yeah. Yeah, terrain ain't the best here. I'll try to delete this, but for whatever reason, it's not deleting, so. Is what it is, but yeah, that's a lot better. But yeah, so we've got three of these monsters and that. And yeah, I think this is going to be enough to get us started off with. Also, we've got a couple of greenhouses and that, so we've got two of these of the multi crop greenhouse, and then we've got the large one here by Mrs. Umatana. And yeah, all this is going to be producing stuff. Also, yeah, I forgot about those. These UK style silos and that, so one thing I want to purchase is silage additive, so thinking ten thousand years, I think five thousand years is enough for that one. Then we'll go over to this one. Lime, pig food, seed, mineral feed, yes please, so I think yeah, another ten thousand years. Cause yeah, this is all like potential feeding out for chickens, pigs, and other stuff, so I think for now we'll leave that one empty, but so yeah, moving on to our productions. Obviously one thing with the map, it does come with the BGA and sawmill net, so I am gonna be restricting on sawmill. Again, feel free to give me feedback. Should we use the sawmill net? Or should we put, you know, say a hundred, two hundred grand down for the sawmill to get the planks and that because I think for the winter net that, that could be really useful now. And BGA, I'm tempted to use it as is and that, especially for our manure and sorry that get to digesting that. That's going to be absolutely crucial net. But yeah, so with digestate or digestate, we can get help with producing liquid fertilizer, fertilizer and that. Again, all of these are going to be intertwined and work together really well. So, so yeah, first of all, I want the hay production on. We're going to need the grass for that. And to be honest, I think that's it going to be for that for now because, yeah, I mean, straw from the crops and that. So, let's get some farming done, shall we? So, this may be a bit of a bigger episode than that. Actually no, I think what we'll do is we'll get all the equipment purchased, get the farm set up and that, get the equipment in the field ready and that. Because yeah, linseed and yeah, I think you can get straw from linseed. Yeah, pretty sure you get straw from linseed. The, is that barley over there again? Always forgot, yeah. They're going to be ready to go, so that's going to be our important fields. And soybeans and the cotton are really good money crop in that, so... Leasing is allowed. I am allowed to lease equipment and that. But yeah, really, that is that. And then, yeah, the grass field, that's ready to mow as well. So, yeah, let's get some work done. So, now let's head over to the shop. And you know what? I'm just going to quickly teleport over and that. So, we need to purchase a lot of stuff in it. And yeah, in terms of loading up on trailers and that, or lorries. We do have access to all these, these are the shop's equipment. We can only use these within the confines of the shop, unless we pay a renting fee to take them outside the yards. Obviously if it involves taking stuff outside the yards to go around to the sell point over here we've got, so... You know, a couple of gates and that, so... Forest dealer, again, some more jet washing areas. Sir yards and a few other bits here and there. So let's get purchasing off all of the equipment because we're gonna need okay shopping this. So our priorities are combined harvester and that. I've got some in mind in that. Maybe a forge wagon. Asterix on that. Ideally we're gonna be doing the bale, so and remember we're not we're doing this realistic ish realistic ish and that so that will involve no auto loading 
The only time I'll be allowed in auto load is if I manually load the trailer up by myself with a take handler or whatever I'm choosing to use and then using the auto load function to tidy up. So manual auto loads again. Do you agree with that? Do you not agree with that folks? Please let me know because ultimate is difficult in that, but not too impossible that to make me give up all hope in that, but I can see the series going on for 50, 100 episodes in that. This is going to be a, a big series in that, so I think, yeah, so let's get per binds, shall we? So, first of all, Combine Harvesters. Also, we are allowed to lease in that, but I think Combines in that, we really need to own in that, so I'm going to go with the Cross Lexian, so Obviously, EU spec in that. And I win Spurge in that on some of these big equipment in that, so... Yes, Crawl Tracks. No, I think we'll stick with... Yeah, so... <coughs> Fill Scanner, yes, and that. Numbering, one, because I want to have a few of these and that, but of course, at the moment, that's not going to be happening, so... Purchase you. Half a mil that was. Next we're going to need a header in that. Also we do have that cornfield in that. And I think what we're going to do is use that to get some silage down the way. So again we do have options in that. You know we've got the cost effects in that. But I'm going to be using the old faithful titan header in that. Just because it's slightly faster in that. I'm going to pay for the draper version. <laughs> So we want a cross green for that. And then, then again, I think a cross green for the design in that. But yeah, in terms of themes in that, I'm not going to go with a theme in that, like in terms of brand loyalty in that. But I think it's going to be a lot of mixture of cloths and John Deere, I think. Maybe some fence in that, so all the greens in that, but. Again, I'll still be using like fence and that. Not fence, oh, they, uh, like New Holland has it. New Holland in case. Try to think of something not green. Okay, so. For Charleston, we can lease that. Now for a tractor and that. So. Yeah, let's get the implements purchased. So. We're going to need a drill and that, drill crops. Actually, you know what, rather than me going back forward in shopping that, we've got our first bit of equipment, we've got a million <laughs> left in that. And also, I want to make sure, okay, let need to tidy that up so it better be when I get sorted. So, that 200 grand, yeah, that's a mistake of setting the map up in that. So, technical error there, so I'm going to get rid of that. But yeah, we're going to still have a mill left after I sort that out, and that's going to be spending on all of the equipment, so bear me sick whilst I get this all set up. So alright, it's just gone after 12 o'clock, and we spent pretty much all of our money, and yeah, I had less money to spend than I planned, because to be honest, I did test this map, and I did test purchase items and that. And somehow I've ended up with less items than I originally planned, but anyway, so obviously we've got our class harvester in that. Moving on, we got the Merlo Tayhander with the big bag winch support. So it's got those little tension straps. Also we've got a class 2.2 ton weight. We got the logistics transport trailer by AT Studio. Yes, it's the long one that has the autoload function, but this is primarily for pallets and normal belt transport. Not intentionally I'm going to be using this for autoloading. That's because we've got this, so this is part of the ultimate mowing and baiting pack, so we've got a, uh, what's it, belt loader and a belt wrapper and that, so that's got a pin hook on the back. Even though we've got ways of, you know, Ah, uh, what's it? What's the word I'm looking for? Making slideage from like a forge wagon and that. Actually, speaking of which, I maybe should turn that off. So, fortunately, we could do need a forge wagon. 
However, I am tight on money at the moment. <laughs> I did not expect this. But yeah, also for our tractors and that. So we've got a couple of our tractors. So first of all is the John Deere AR series. Got the 8345R E23, 400 horsepower, and then the class area 3000, 1999, 315 horsepower. So we're going to need to lease a forge wagon because we do. Actually, do we need hay now? If we're doing. Actually, perhaps best if we do. Maybe. So. Maybe we should. Uh, you know, lease a wind rower and tether net. Because, yeah, we've got the John Deere here with the mower net. Also, for our planter net, we've got the Great Plains, so that could do everything. And for our bather, we've got the Agco Heston bather. So, we'll get some nice big old Heston bells. Ah, oh, that's probably a bit of a predicament now. Do we forage? Because how much is a forage wagon? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going unrealistic in terms of the capacity stuff. And that nope, that is banned. Unless we go something like that, like fifty thousand liters, semi unrealistic. But oh, I shall think. You know what? I think we best go with borrowing some wind rowers and that, so oh, we're going to need a tether and a wind rower, so Cause, yeah, I'm thinking going big, if we're getting hay in that screw it, let's go and borrow these, so borrow the, the, the lotus and then we'll borrow the, the, the yeah, proofy there. I see they're not too bad in price, they are, but yeah, 34 grand. And that is to say for the Forge Harvester because that's going to be expensive. Let's say we go with any of these, so a D750 horsepower. So that is 23 grand. Plus that, that is 29, let's say 30 grand for that. Now plus I we need a trader. Obviously we've got one already. But I am gonna need to lease another one, so maybe that with a dolly. How much is that? Four grand, that is very close to our budget. Anything else around? <laughs> Not really, so we're gonna be super tight on budget anyways. <laughs> That's gonna be the long story short, so Let's get these back to the farm and all set up and ready to go. So for a lot of this stuff, it's going to go to our grass field. Yeah, grass field on 29. Because yeah, we want to get that, start mowing and bathing in the next episode. Oh man, this has a tight turn circle. Oh god. Actually, you know what? What I should do is... I oh, know it doesn't have dovetail on it, so I can't load equipment on this because that was an extra three grand. And I thought, oh dang it! Already, I think we're making mistakes here. So, right, we are approaching our grass field now, and yeah, we've got the pink is the wind rowing out or tether and that. And yeah, being thinking about it, and yeah, first of all, I thought we could just do a bunch of silage from this. However, the problem is the cows going to need feed now. I think we could feed them silage in that. But looking at on the right, there's no option for silage for the feed in that. So for now, I am not going to risk it. And yes, yeah, I just want to quickly check. So yeah, that is the tether there. So yeah, we need to mow all this grass. And I think, because yeah, I did bring size stuff down that the bait bait and wrapper because with our mode setup these will do normal wind rows and that's just fine in that however yeah hey it's gonna be better than that and to be honest it's not much more work it is so I think yeah you're gonna need a lot of hay because thanks to Scroft and that uh, he did a video what was it? Yeah, just look it up. Now, back in 5th December 2021, where he did a 
full on test on the cow system and that. And basically for 50 cows and that, from 0 to 36 months, they'll need half a million liters of feed. And that is from Aussie birth to 36 months when you sell them. Yeah, around right about 36 months is the best time to sell. So yeah, when you multiply that out to over, at the moment, 1,200 cattle, that is 12 million liters of feed we're going to need over 36 months. And that is either hay or TMR and that. Totally. So, done the math for that, and that works out about 330,000 and 400 liters a month. Obviously, once the cows grow up, they will obviously consume more feed than that. So, calves, they will obviously consume less feed than that. But, yeah, for now, yeah, we need to just crack on. So, yeah, I want to... I think, yeah, we don't want left swath, we want... Swath, I think that's going to be the one to go for, I think. Just double checking that. So, yeah, there we go, we're mowing. And we are swathing. So yeah, we need to get this done. Just showing that it's about a third less compared to the feed, so yeah, that's the thing. When we're farming in that, all the crops we're gonna be doing is gonna be very vital to what we're doing here. So we're gonna need green crops, so ideally barley in that because barley gets you the most straw in that per yieldage now in terms of per hectare. Inch. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of barley and a lot of crap we're going to be doing. And that's why I'm thinking about getting the chickens out, because the barley, you can either sell them as, as they are, or if we've got the time and the money to spare, which at the moment we don't have either, get the chickens in and sell the eggs. Obviously we're going to get milk and that from the cows. Ideally, that'd be good to get cheese and that, so... So yeah, I think also with Scroft that, when he did his test with the 50, obviously you get more milk with the TMR and that. And yeah, I think you get about terms with half a million, half a million pounds worth of cheese from TMR fed cows. Obviously how that implements, uh, implements us with the hay feed. Yeah, that's going to be another thing. But yeah, also with the manure and so now we can sell them as they are, or process them to get digested. So I think manure, sorry, and digestate is free game to sell. At the moment, I'm going to hold off selling seed of that unless we produce it. So the seeds we got in the Meridian XL or the extended storage yard, whatever it's called, and that. Again, all the mods I'm using will be down below. Yeah, those seeds that is forbidden sell because. At the end of the day, if I want to, I could cheat and yeah, just buy a bunch of cheap seeds, sell them out a good profit and that. Obviously, we're on normal economy, we are on, on easy and that, so that is our added challenge up because, again, for those of you who haven't played FS19, normal economy mode is the hard mode on FS19. I know I'm still referring to that, making that same reference three years onto the game, but yeah, hard mode is. <laughs> extremely hard in that and to be honest we got <coughs> a hard enough challenge as it is trying to feed 1200 cows from starting that again not filling up the animal pens and that straight away in that like I would do on the fair countryside and that so yeah this is going to be a lot of work for us but yeah also when we're doing this now so we do have the combine ready at field 9 and that is Canola. I think you get Canola strong up with Oxygen David's mods and that is maps. On Nail Court Farms, you could do it. Actually, if I test that now quickly. Yeah, I just want to quickly test that in theory. That farm in theory. And the answer is. No. Dang it. Alright, fair enough. Uh, that's fine. I thought we could and that, but obviously 
this is one off auction David's uh, earlier maps and that. And it's not like Core Farms where you can get straw gnats, unfortunately, but yeah, I am excited for this challenge and that, so I'll see turn to a progression. I am gonna try to progress rapidly if we can. Of course, these first couple of episodes is gonna be set the farm up, obviously. At the moment we're on times one that. Yeah, I'll sort of get everything set up. I'll get that field going over there on our plot of land. That's going to be one big old grass field as well. See, I'm thinking if we keep 29, that little plot area there, and to be honest, I'm thinking either 30 or 16. Perhaps 16 because that is ready to harvest. Now, get all these as grass fields. So yeah, we'll have one big old grass field in there, and ideally if you produce excess of grass in that, so get silage in that out of it, then that'd be ideal, but I guess what I'm wondering, do we get grass bells instead from this? Save them on the hand to do all the tether in that, and whatever, and then just use the production to get, you know, pay that way. I don't know, I was going to be some testing a lot doing that, but... Anyways, so uh, I think, to be honest, that's where I'm going to leave it off here, so I'm going to continue this off off camera now, so... I'm going to aim to get this out, oh, what's it, it's Friday today, Friday morning, just about to head to work soon that, about a half hour's time. So, this will be uploaded sometime Friday evening. Then once I get back from working out, it'll work on episode 2. And episode 2 will be out hopefully Saturday because, yeah, I may not be going out on Saturday, so. Because, yeah, I want to get this series crack on. Yeah, cracking on. Got a couple of episodes on Ravenport, so I want to get this out and that. It's also a fair countryside. I need to work on that again, but that may be on the back burner than that because. Yeah, Ravenport, that is almost done. That was like two episodes ago, I think, I've got. Because, yeah, having a free space series was good in that, but now I'm working from 7 in the morning till 4 in the evening. Once I get home at half 4, leave for work about half past 6, quarter past 6 in the morning. Yeah, not very much time, and most of the time I get back, I am absolutely shattered. Just because I've got a pinched nerve on my back at the moment, so, yeah, having a pinched nerve and that back pain is absolutely lovely when you're clean that. But anyways, that's going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed this episode, hope you enjoyed this new series. Again, comment down below. Would you like to see what, is there any like, restriction, restrictions you think we should have in that? But anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not, subscribe to channel, please stir. But for what you to do, hope you're gonna say but for now, see we farm Evelyn Stream and I'll see you all very soon.